going on YouTube? It is your boy, Wavy D, with a new video, new location, and new vibes. And I say new vibes, because I really think y'all gonna like this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done Singapore, South Korea, but this video will be taking place in Guam, baby! You heard correctly, y'all. Your boy is on the island of Guam. We have officially moved away from Korea. Am I gonna miss it? Meh. It was alright. Korea had its perks. Maybe I'm more of a tropical weather kind of guy. And that's why I'm looking forward to this video. And y'all already know how these videos go, especially if you've seen my last two videos. And if you haven't, make sure you go check those out now. So basically what I'm going to be doing is taking you guys out there, basically giving you guys a tour of the island. Probably even give you guys a few good fun facts along the way. Alright, that's the intro. I will catch y'all outside. Let's get it. All right, let's stop here real quick. Cause one thing you need to know about Guam is, without a doubt, it's a beautiful place. But also, a lot of American history takes place here. Like this open field right here is where the Sunmay village used to be. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But basically what the sign was saying was that the village was destroyed by the Americans after the Japanese had invaded it, if I read that correctly. And apparently their church was built here too. But the Japanese were using it as a stable for their horses. Don't you just love American history? All right, now on with the tour. And right here, we got War in the Pacific, Asan Beach. Once again, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And here is a nice open wide view of the field where you can chill out, work out, have a picnic, fly a kite, play with your dog, I don't know, whatever you can come up with. And to summarize it for you, right here is basically listing the many events that happened on this beach, like the Spanish government building a disease hospital in 1892, the pre-invasion bombing in 1944, and Camp Assange housing U.S. Navy civilian employees in 1945. But you already know the drill. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take the time to read it to yourself. And right here, we got the beach. And let me tell y'all something. I have never seen a beach so beautiful in my entire 21 going on 22 years of living. There were these huge rocks that spread out from the beach all the way out into the ocean. And of course, there were the beautiful palm trees. And knowing where I'm from, I don't usually see palm trees that often. And then there was the water. It was so perfectly see-through. You could literally see the ocean floor. And then there was the beautiful blue color. I swear, for a beach that's been through so much, it's got a pretty beautiful scenery. And as I kept walking, I came across this river that came up onto the beach and into another body of water back here. It was actually pretty cool. I've never seen anything like it. And as I was heading my way downtown, I saw these well-crafted sculptures at a Catholic cemetery. They sculpted St. Jude, Thomas, Simon, Andrew, James the Lesser, Paul, Peter, James the Greater, John, Matthew, Philip, and let's not forget Nathaniel. They really sculpted the whole crew. And as I kept going, I came across this beautiful small park that had this really cool bridge that you could either walk across or walk underneath. And 
And as it says right here, it's called the San Antonio Bridge. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take the time to read it to yourself. And one thing I admire about Guam is the giant art they do on the side of buildings. Like right here, and here's two more that I found in the city. And right here holds a special place in Guam's heart. This place is dedicated to all men and women veterans who have served and or helped in any of Guam's wars in any way. Leave the purple heart emoji down below if you want to pay respects. And right here, we got the list of purple heart lady auxiliaries. Like I said, feel free to pause the video if you want to take the time to read the names. Who knows? You might see someone you know. And over here, we got the names of the wounded. And of course, the names of the lives that were lost. And then here's the names of the people that went missing in action. And as you continue to walk forward, you'll come across this roundabout like area where they have this plaque of Carlton Skinner, who was apparently the governor of Guam in 1949 through 1953. And as you continue to walk around, you can see a tower dedicated to those in the Korean War in 1982. They also had it in, if I had to guess the language, Korean, for all my Korean subscribers out there. And right across the street, they got California pizza. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's all right. I guess I'll just have to see for myself one day. And this building right here that I thought was a church at first turns out to be the Guam Museum and Educational Facility. I'm guessing if you want to learn more about Guam, this is one of the many places you can go to. And as you walk across the street, you'll see the sculpture sculpted by Thomas Conception. If I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, I so apologize. And as you continue to cross the street, you'll approach Hagatnia Heritage Walking Trail. Once again, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. And just like the rest of Guam, this trail isn't just known for its beautiful structures and sites. It's also known for its fun facts and the history it holds. Like this right here was put together for the Guam Insular Force Guard that fought against the Japanese invasion. But unfortunately, to prevent a massacre on the Guam defenders, 
they surrendered. And right here, we got Plaza de España. Or is it España? I'm not sure. But if I read it correctly, this is where they kept the chocolate house, garden, storage shed, fountain, and many more. So if I had to guess, I'd say this is the fountain we read about earlier. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while. And walk a tad bit forward, there is a plaque that gives us a little bit of information about their governor's garden. Feel free to read it if you like. I got it in both languages. Oh, and uh, one more thing I wanna point out about Guam. They straight up just be letting their chickens roam freely out here, bro. And right here on our left, we got the garden house. And if I read this correctly, this is where they kept their gardening tools. And down here, we got their chocolate house, where they would serve hot chocolate to the governor's guests during late afternoons. And at other times, they would serve tea. And right here, we got some info and an image of the governor's palace. So yeah, that about wraps up Plaza de España. And to wrap up the day vlog are these pretty cool letters that spell out Guam, obviously meant for taking pictures with, along with these beautiful palm trees. But I think it's time I show you guys Guam's nightlife. And this part, I really wanted to show you guys. So let's start off the nightlife with the hotels they got out here. Like right here, we got the Crown Plaza, Guam Beach Residential. And I can't remember the name of this hotel, but I actually ended up staying here for a night and it's not really that bad of a hotel. 
I highly recommend it. But one thing that does break my heart about Guam is the amount of stray dogs they got out here. And as a dog lover, I really do hope we find a solution for this. And over here, we got this church-like building that also kind of looked like a house that had this really cool statue in the driveway. And a couple miles down, we got this ramen restaurant. And as a ramen noodle lover, I just might give it a try one day. They also have an ABC store out here for all my alcohol lovers. And right across the street, we got the police station. And here we have an official Guam police cruiser. And as a Hellcat lover, I approve. And not far away, we got Burger King. And right across the street, we got Chili's and Olive Garden. And here we got more art on the side of a building. And they got tennis courts out here. And here we got Hyatt Hotel with these pretty lights in their trees. Now this is where the light show begins. Welcome to the heart of Tumon. Right here, we got an entrance to a club or maybe a restaurant. All I know is that it was oddly hypnotic and I damn near could not stop looking at it. And up there, we got more building art that I'm not even gonna lie, I thought was Kobe for a second. And up here, we got more restaurants like Hot Diggity Dog, another California pizza, IHOP. They also got a sea grill and an underwater world, which I heard was like a restaurant and an aquarium put together. I just might have to check this place out. And as for all my shoppers, Tumon has Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, of course Gucci, Balenciaga, Marc Jacobs, Rolex, and many more. They also got a TGI Fridays out here and a Western Hotel for all my people back home. And over here, we got some Asian themed restaurants and massage places. And I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog showing you guys the small amusement park they got out here. And right next to it, they got a few more restaurants like Outback Steakhouse. All right, y'all, that is a wrap for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, I shouldn't have to explain this to you, but I'ma do it anyway. Make sure to tap that like button, and please hit that subscribe button on your way out. We on the road to 200, baby. I gotta say, I really did enjoy filming this video. I think I'ma really like it out here. All right, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay wavy. Peace.